Lord led her and taught her and kept her as the apple of his eye. Like an eagle spreading its wings, he took her up and bore her on his shoulders. The Lord alone was her God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult, exult with her. All you who are mourning, who were mourning over her, oh that you may suck fully of the milk of her coffin, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I would spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks God. A responsorial song. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O oh Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, brethren, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a winged child. Like a winged child on his mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today's Gospel passage from the church's celebration for the memorial of St. Therese of the Child Jesus 
is incomplete. Verse 5 of chapter 18 in Matthew's gospel is mistakenly omitted from the reading. It reads, And whoever received one such child as this in my name received me. This verse, even if read by itself, points us to this blessed saint. Therese Martin, born in, year, in the year 1873, was the pampered daughter of a mother who had wanted to be a saint and a father who had wanted to be a monk. They had decided that theirs would be a celibate marriage until one day a priest told them that this was not God's intention for the married life. They would go on to have nine children. The five children that survived were all girls. As a child, excuse me, as a child, Therese was prone to crying fits. If she perceived that others were criticizing or didn't appreciate her, the tears would flow. Her one heart's desire was to join the convent, and yet she was rejected by the superior of the Carmelite convent. An appeal to the local bishop proved to be just as disappointing. Hoping to take her mind off this crazy idea, her father took her on a pilgrimage to Rome. The pilgrimage afforded an opportunity for an audience with Pope Leo XIII. They were told they would not be able to speak directly with the Pope, but this did not slow the young girl down. She quickly approached and, be and began to beg that he intervene in her admittance to the convent. This persistence resulted in her being carried out by two of the guards. The vicar general, who was in attendance, having witnessed her courage, did intervene, and her entrance into the convent soon followed. She entered the Carmelite convent at the age of 14, and soon after, her life took a drastic turn. The tantrums quickly went away. She became a child of humility. Once, when accused of breaking a vase that was not her fault, without argument, she fell to her knees and pleaded for forgiveness. In the convent, she found her vocation to be that of love. In her autobiography, she stated, I knew that one love drove the members of the church to action, that if this love were extinguished, the apostles would have proclaimed the gospel no longer. The martyrs would have shed their blood no more. I saw and realized that love sets off the bounds of all vocations, that love is everything, that this same love embraces every time and every place. In one word, that love is everlasting. Therese's little way gives us a simple yet powerful way to achieve a personal relationship with God. She did not chase after lofty achievements or accolades to reach the holiness we are all called to. She believed that reaching this relationship required small <laughs> daily sacrifices. It is about being small and doing the smallest actions with great love. Her belief that, this, that, this, that the little things will grow God's kingdom in love is what made her a saint. This is the example she left for all of us. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For all who have bowed themselves to God, that with his help they may faithfully keep to their resolve, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace among nations, that delivered from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the elderly who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them, as brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For ourselves gathered here and those watching on video, as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we, know, may, we may know how to use them in such a way that we may hold even now to the things that endure forever. 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for Raymond and Marjorie Griffin, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Praise Praise God. God. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. But through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and glory of his name. Father, the will of all of us. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. The Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in a new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you. As without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, holy glory, Lord, 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 you are indeed, Holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts be for us and the other spirit of the might to do both, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. So once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save God, us, Savior of the world. On your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is now. Give us this day and forgive us our trespasses, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, the Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. <coughs> Holy Lord, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and sins of the devil. May God be with him when we humbly pray. And in the evil prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, saying that all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our most holy spouse. Blessed be God, who is 